Hey everybody, I'm Luca. And I'm Zach. And we are the co-creators of WIC. So what is WIC? WIC is a multi-purpose creation environment that allows anyone to build a wide range of easily shareable internet games, animations, and interactive doohickeys all in the browser. That's pretty slick, huh? All in the browser. All in the browser. That's the, uh, the big part of this. Everything's so, in the browser. Yeah. So why don't we get started uh, by making an animation in WIC. Um, so it's really easy to bring in different materials and images uh, into, the into the editing environment. We have the editor open right here. Um, all you've got to do is you know, click and drag some images inside. Here we've got a nice, giant, spooky ghost. Um, and Jesus, it's a big ghost. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty spooky ghost. And so um, we're using Fabric.js on the back end to give us this nice control, um, resizing, scaling. Um, also, things like rotations are included in here. Um, but you can position this, you know, these images and as many images as you want um, on the canvas in any way. And using some hotkeys, I can do stuff like copy this frame to the next, you know, to the next frame. And you'll notice that number in the top frame bar right here. Um, increasing. That's because I've just created a bunch of frames, and I can scroll through frames using a few key commands. Um, and this is, you know, super super easy, and allows people to just make very simple animations at this point in WIC. Not only can you make animations in WIC, but you can also use our built-in scripting system to make interactive things. So, for example, I'm adding a script to the ghost on every frame such that whenever you click the ghost, it advances the frame one frame. This will make it so whenever we click the ghost, the ghost will move up. So let's go ahead and export this project, and it'll bundle everything into a single HTML file, which then you can share with your friends and such. And we have our little clickable ghost that moves up when we click it. And it's that simple. Yeah, so why don't we um, pull up the example um, project in order to show like the potential for making point and click games. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull up our test game uh, made by our very own Zach Rispoli called Don't Click the Bee. The key right, to this game um, is you're not supposed to click the bee. So you have a selection of four objects. One of them's a bee. Three of them are not the bee. Don't click the bee. Don't click the bee. I clicked the bee and I lost. I'll try again, this time being sure not to click the B, and I won. Yeah, so that's uh, you know, a super rudimentary example. Um, right now, WIC is in its early stages, so we don't have um, too, too much flexibility in terms of like what you can script, but in the future, um, we are aiming to have this you know, be like a full-fledged um, scripting, game creation, animation creation software, um, really a whatever creation software. Um, so let's pull up the GitHub. Um, all of the stuff is, or all of the resources are open source. Um, you can check them out at github.com slash zerispo slash wick. Um, yeah, and that is about it. We'll, we'll give a link to this yeah. in the description of the video. Yeah, uh, so that's it. Thanks for watching.